All right. All right. Monday night meditation with this lovely full uh, eclipse energy. <clears throat> So if you have your journal, you can pull it and have it right next to you so that when you're done with your meditation, you can jot some notes. If you want to jot some notes while you're having your meditation, that's okay too. Sometimes that's what needs to be done. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just start getting into your body. So I'd like you to just do a little bit of swing. You can close your eyes. I want you to think about waking up your spine getting into your spine, breathing in and out. Sometimes I like to do little baby cat cows, inhale and exhale, getting into that spine. It's always a great idea to open up the spine so that you have the ability to sit and then the energy can be ground down through the sit bones all the way up the spine. So just allow yourself to breathe into your body and get into your spine. And just start to bring the awareness, not just into the spine, but as though when you're breathing all the way into the spine, as you exhale, it moves through every single layer, whether it's your muscles, your bones, the ligaments, the fascia, just allowing you to penetrate the full physical body. So just breathe into your body and then once you're to a place where you feel like you can stop moving, you can bring yourself to center. Your hands can be resting right on the knees, on the thighs, or they could be in your lap. Whatever feels most comfortable. And I want you to bring awareness to your navel center. Using this special evening, we're going to tap into this possible possibility and energy. So this particular moon and eclipse really allows us to start to connect with our possibilities and move forward in our lives in a way that might be quicker than we can imagine. We might be able to move forward with more clarity. But this idea here is you're coming to your navel center. Your navel center, bring the awareness at the navel center and see a golden yellow light. I like to picture a flame, the golden flame at my navel center, burning bright. Cleansing this area, protecting this area, and keeping you focused, keeping you determined, helping you stay the course, helping you assimilate not just your food, but ideas. And just bringing this awareness again into the navel center. You have to have the physical ability to move into your dreams. So you want your body to be cleansed, that you're not feeling weighed down in all the senses, whether it's in your belly, there's like a heaviness, or if in your mind there's a heaviness, you want to have this clarity that comes from the navel center and then reaches up through all the other chakras, all your other senses. This is your will center. So you're going to harness this energy and tap into it along with the possibility. So just breathe and just notice these flames or this beautiful golden light. 
at the navel center. Maybe it's a ball of energy. And when you're ready, just relax the shoulders even further away from the ears and relax the navel. See if you can allow the body to, as <laughs> some people will say, rest and digest. Allow yourself to connect with your desires, with your determination and your drive, with your dreams. And just keep that alight, but bring the awareness now down into the pelvis, into your second chakra. Really allowing the senses to connect with this very fluid, beautiful place. You can see a color orange and see a ball of orange light. And just connect to part of your body, tapping into this knowing, this feminine knowing within your body and what you desire. What's possible for us comes from our paying attention to what we actually desire. So bring an awareness of what do I desire? What's possible for me? As you see this orange and chakra in this pelvic bowl. And again, checking in with your body anywhere that's feeling tight. Just breathe in those spots in the body and allow yourself to relax more. And continuing to keep that orange light awareness at the second chakra and bring awareness to your first chakra to root. Where are you sitting? Bring an awareness. You can see it. And as you see this light at your root, I want you to feel a connection, a connection to stability. Whether that's growing roots into the ground to feel it in part of the planet, part of the whole. Or maybe it's some other visualization that comes to mind, what makes you feel stable and grounded, secure at all levels. Connecting with that light, connecting with this energy. As you continue to breathe, consider what would it be like if you felt completely secure? How would your body feel right now if you felt completely secure? See if you can relax and release into this version of yourself, this secure, grounded, stable, human, that just feels completely right in really every moment, knowing that who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, you are supported, that you are enough. Feel into this energy and just continue to breathe. Now feeling the energy of this root chakra, of your sacral chakra, and of your navel center, the red, the orange, the yellow. I want you to feel those staying a light pulsing, energized. Then I want you to bring awareness to your heart center. 
You can see a green light at the heart center, the Anahata Chakra. Feeling a sense of gratitude and love exactly where you are now, for who you are, for where you're going and where you've been. Just an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Just feel into that. Bringing awareness up to the throat center, the Vishuddha chakra, Vishuddhi chakra. Just allowing yourself to even utter the words of what you desire, to speak your truth, to claim it. You can see a blue light And as you're contemplating this gratitude at the heart, the green light, and being able to speak your truth at the throat center with the blue light, imagine that the heart and the throat are so intricately connected to your root, to the sacral, to the navel center, that everything is feeding off of each other so much alignment, so much integration. Feeling an openness, but not an openness just for a, a free for all, but an openness of a direction. That all of this is taking you where you know that you want to go. and bring awareness up to the Ajna chakra between the eyes, seeing kind of a purpley indigo behind your eyes, maybe seeing the sphere of light pulsing and allowing you to connect to this idea that you already know what you desire you can feel this immensely and maybe you weren't able to call it out just yet, but allow this point between your eyes, this knowing to bring even more clarity, even more truth to the possibility of your life. to the next steps, to the trusting in the process. And again, have this sense that every single chakra is communicating to each other to help you move forward in the most gentle, beautiful, most positive way, in a way that feels not just in alignment, but it feels effortless, as though everything's just falling into place. Now I want you to bring attention to the crown. And as you bring attention to the crown, instead of seeing just a sphere of light at the crown, I want you to feel like a feeling that it's opening up to connect to greater energy, universal energy, whatever you'd like to call it, divine, God, goddesses. And have this chin to help you identify these possibilities, these desires, these wants. And as you allow your breathe here for a few moments, just quietly, ask for the assistance that you need for clarity. 
Ask for the assistance you need to move those out of the way, whether it's real obstacles or excuses or just places where you feel confused and don't know how to move. Ask for the support that you need to get the clarity that you desire so you can move forward in your life. Stepping into your purpose, stepping into your health, just owning exactly who you are. And just breathe. Take a few breaths here, connecting to this greater source of wisdom that can inform you or remind you of what you desire, what you need. Now I want you to picture or visualize all the chakras within your body lit up. The root, the red, the sacral, the orange, the navel, the yellow, the heart, green, the throat, blue, the third eye, purple, indigo, and then the crown. Just picture all of these chakras lit up. here in the highest good view and sense float at the sky. I want you to look at the moon and I want you to visualize yourself sharing or if you feel pulled to speak out your desires to the moon as an offering as you visualize or you speak the words out, I want you to feel the moon energy just honoring these requests, smile down upon you for making the effort to change and evolve, continue the journey, and just feel the love. The moon just smiling down upon you honoring you exactly where you're at and proud of you for making time to get clearer and clearer on your path. Begin to deepen your breath in your bellies. Maybe bring your hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Tuck the chin just slightly. And just take a moment to honor yourself, making time for holding the space for yourself, for you connecting to something more than yourself, as well as connecting to the deepest parts of yourself with. You can slowly blink your eyes open 
And then you can take a few moments or longer to open up that journal of yours and journal these desires, journal the possibilities, journal your requests, get clear on where you want your life to go and just offer it up. Offer it up and say, help me make best possible choices every single day and help be as easy and seamless as possible. You know, sprinkle in whatever you request, whatever you desire, and hold space for it to be really good, for it to surprise you. And if you know yourself, know that you struggle with trusting, that you are supported and that you are no matter what, then offer that up and say, I, I'm gonna do my best to show up for myself. Please show me that I'm being heard and see small findings, things moving forward. Yes, you are supported. Yes, you are loved. Yes, you're exactly right now. You're completely loved. So very beautiful even sleep. And I hope that you know that you are supported and loved and that you are needed exactly as you are. Sweet.